Hi everyone, this is just a little tutorial on how to uh, put on the new uh, rune weapons onto Asmodeus. Uh, if you're putting it onto him and not onto uh, a custom avatar, which I'll show in a second, uh, it's very easy. But what you want to do is you want to add the rune rifles in last. You need to have Asmodeus in the scene first and then you just import the package in second. Now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Asmodeus, going to go to the normal one. It's the same for all versions of him, like the supporter and uh, gold, but I'm going to put it on the normal one. So I'm going to open up Asmodeus's scene. Here he is. Uh, and also the scenes have changed for his 1.4 update. There are the female ones are now included in the package. But what you want to do is Go to Asmodeus, the version that you want to add it to. You want to right click and you want to go down to prefab and then go unpack completely. You want to open it up, go to weapons, open it up, go to guns. For the L, you want to go to the sword off and just open it up to here. So where it's container and then the sword off and sound sword off L, they're both turned off. And you want to go to guns R, open that up to the lever action and go down to the same area. You see these two are open. So guns L, sword off container. Guns are lever action container. Now, after importing the new guns, what you want to do is go to LOD. They'll be up here. Go to Rune Guns, and you want to go to 4 Asmodeus. Now, you see two prefabs in here. You want to grab the Rune Rifle, go down to lever action, and drop it onto container. You'll see it. It will take a couple seconds. It'll go blue, and then you want to just turn it off. Then you want to go to the rune rifle sword off and drag and drop it onto container and then turn it off and you're done. This is just a drag and drop prefab and that's it. If you don't want to put these rune weapons onto your own avatar that isn't as Medeas, you can end the video now. You are done. If you're putting the rune weapons onto your own avatar, this is the part of the video you should watch. Even though I have as Medeas here, I am just treating him like a completely by itself avatar just pretend that this is not him i just had this on hand first there's a couple of extra things that you need i'll be putting a link to them in the description the main one is avatars 3 manager this is essential and it's just a free thing for unity that you could find in the description once you have your avatar in you want to open it up and if it's a prefab which it more than likely is you want to go prefabs unpack completely and then what you want to do is you want to go to LOD. This will be the package that you imported. Rune Guns. And then 4 Solo. So this is the... Uh, for Asmodeus is for the Asmodeus ones. 4 Solo is for your own avatar. You want to put up prefabs. And then you want to pick which one you want to add. The setup process is uh, the same for both of them. So I'll just show you what to do with uh, one of them. And then you just do the same for the other. So what you want to do is you want to drag and drop the prefab into your avatar and make it a child of it and you'll see it down the bottom and you want to right click and go prefab unpack completely then you want to open it up and you'll show you'll see container rune sort of l root and same for the r then what you want to do is go into your avatar's armature and you want to go down to the hands so spine chest shoulder arm l elbow hand you want to do the same for the other side as well. Then what you want to do is you want to grab the root L and drag it and make it a child of the hand L and then grab the root R and make it a child of the hand R. Go to your inspector up here, inspector, click on that and you want to click reset on both. So you see these three little dots and you want to click reset. Oh, you can't see it because of my ultra wide. Let me click here. So you see reset. This will set everything back to zero, zero, zero. The reason we do this is to make it a root of the ch of the hand. So now it will follow what your hand does. And then inside is an empty that the gun is constrained to. And I've put them in areas that I think will work, work for most avatars, but you will have to manually adjust them, which we'll do in a second. But then you want to go back up to the container of your gun. And you'll see rune sort of R, rune sort of L. In this area here, you want to click one, which will make it go to your left hand. And then you want to click on 
oh, sorry, the right hand, then you want to click on the child. You don't want to, you don't want to click on the root. You want to click on the child of that root, and then you want to move it around and rotate in a way that fits your avatar's hand. You don't have to get it precisely if it doesn't line up with your hand perfectly no one's gonna care it doesn't really matter but it is nice to look nice and so you just want to get it in an area that looks okay all right now after that you can go ahead and and open up the container and you want to go to rune sort off and then you want to toggle that off do not toggle off the top bit or the container you need to toggle this one off all right now you're done with that part so you can ignore this area now you want to do is go back up to your files you want to open up files and then you'll see rifle and sword off. You want to open up whichever one you attached. In this case, I attached the uh, sword off. So you want to open that up and I want to go to FX, right? So you just want to find this. Now what you need to do is go to avatar three manager and drag and drop your avatar into here and it will bring up uh, your avatars FX and whatnot. And you want to open up FX, this little FX thing. And you want to scroll down to the bottom as Medias is quite a big boy. So uh, yours probably won't be as long as this. Uh, you want to click add animator to merge, and then you want to drag and drop the rune sword off or the, or the rune rifle FX into here. Uh, this will come up and you want to click merge on new. Now you can find the new FX in generated in uh, VR labs, generated assets, animators, and then you'll find this new one. So you'll find this new one and then you can scroll down and you'll see that the logic for the rune weapons have been added and you want to go to your avatar go inspector scroll down to the playable layers and you want to drag and drop the new fx onto here if you're confident that you know what you're doing you can just click merge uh, merge on current but that can sometimes mess up so i recommend doing this after doing that you want to go to here and then you want to click on the one in the middle and you'll see all of this then you want to scroll down all the way to the bottom and you want to go over here. So next to FX, you want to go to menu par and you want to click on par rune sort off, drag and drop it into here and then click copy parameters. That's the second last thing you want to do. The last thing that you need to do is you need to click on your avatar, go inspector, go down the bottom and you'll find a menu. Now you want to open up that menu and then you want to click add control new control and you can name this whatever so rune weapon a uh, rune sort of oh then you want to go to type and you want to go to sub menu and then you want to drag and drop menu rune sort of into here and that's it you're done you can now upload your avatar and the rune weapon will be working perfectly hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions don't you can ask in the comments or you come join my Discord server and I will personally help you in there. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you again later.